Mediaco is a French crane hire and heavy haulage company. And this limited edition model from WSI is in Mediaco colours. It's an unusual Volvo FMX day cab with a flatbed, it's 8x4 and it's got a Palfinger loader crane. But what's not unusual is the box and it's in WSI's usual style. There's a manual that we'll see shortly and then there's the model itself and a couple of bags containing parts. So first up we'll take a look at the manual which is a generic one for WSI's Palfinger models. It contains pictures and explanations for the various versions that they make, but not all of them apply to this model. For the assembly we'll just choose one of the options that's available, and that's the fitting of sideboards to the flatbed deck. These are metal parts and they just fit into holes in the deck. And if you do it in the correct sequence, you put the backboard in first. Still, the Cranes Etc team makes a recovery from one of its many errors. And the only thing to notice about the sideboards is that on the review model at least, one of them was quite loose fitting. This is an unusual 8x4 chassis, but the detailing is high as you would expect. The gearbox and all of the transmission components are there, and there are different tyre types on the driven and steered axles. The Volvo FMX day cab has got beacon lights, and the front grille is modelled well with name badges, and there's a realistic number plate. The Mediaco colour scheme is attractive, and there are nice graphics on the cab. Other details include textured steps and nice wheel trims. The sides of the flatbed look good with various tanks and the detailed sideboards. But one negative is the front outriggers, and that's because the pistons can't be fully retracted in their holders. The flatbed deck has replica timbers, and the detailing includes the bolt head positions on individual planks. The Palfinger is unusual because it's mounted at the rear end, but it's very nicely modelled with lots of detailed graphics, and that includes the Mediaco name on the boom. There's more nice detailing at the back including a name board and towing hitch and there's some fine quality detailing of the various lights. The individual Palfinger boom sections are nice and thin, as are the pistons. There's a fixed hook at the end of the boom, and the chains are not included. As usual, we start underneath and we see the unusual 8x4 chassis layout, and it has very long linked steering between the front and rear axles. It's a complicated mechanism which works well enough, with a moderate amount of steering movement. The truck rolls well enough in a straight line if you do a better job of lining up the wheels than has been done here, but if you do decide to set the steering, then the truck will turn round a shallow bend. Moving to the front, we can check the tilting cab, and on this model it works well because it will pose in a tilted position, and then you can clearly see the detailed Volvo engine which sits underneath. Let's look at one of the other loading possibilities for the flatbed deck and we can take away the sideboards. And included with the model are four tiny container locks which you can put in place and then lower a big container using the giant hand crane. Alternatively we're on site and we can pull out the outriggers. They are more for display purposes than functionality and that's because they're fairly loose and can't hold much load. You can screw down the front pistons to get some extension. And included with the model are some circular pads. These are nicely detailed and the piston rests in the middle. At the back the outriggers on the Palfinger are of the pull out and twist variety. And there's some nice model engineering to get that to work. In particular the outrigger pads are finely modelled with secondary pistons as well. The pads can be raised or lowered in the usual way by screwing. And included with the model are small square spreader plates. Another load option that you have on the deck is to fit deck posts. These are metal and quite fat, but they fit into the holes in the deck well, and you can put them in in many different patterns. Once they're all in, we can then call up the giant hand crane again, and this time we'll place a section of crane on the flatbed deck. But if you're on site and you don't have a giant hand crane, then of course you use the Palfinger instead. 
The main rams for the boom are stiff, which is a good thing. So you need to gently ease them up to open up the boom. When you've got it opened up enough, you can then swing it around and it rotates easily on its turntable. The engineering of the telescopic parts of the Powerfinger is very good and the various sections pull out smoothly. There's enough friction in the telescopic sections and stiffness in the rams to be able to hold interesting poses. This is an unusual truck model from WSI and it looks really nice in the attractive Mediaco colour scheme. It is also a flexible model so it can be displayed in many different ways and it's certainly something that a collector of Mediaco models would want. All things considered, this model is rated as very good. <laughs>